The fourth tip I have for you to deal with the environmental slash social factor of depression is to do something. Get a job, do something with your life. I remember there's this video from a psychologist, Dr. Jordan Peterson, who was talking about depression. And the first thing he asks uh, the people who say they're struggling with depression is, well, do you have a job? Do you have friends? No? Well, first get a job and second go get friends. I'm paraphrasing here loosely, but that's basically what he was saying. And I believe it's because when you get a job, you feel like this sort of sense of competency, no matter what you're doing, even if it's mopping the floor or flipping burgers, it doesn't matter. That sort of simple work that you do gives you this sort of sense of competency that you're contributing to the world in some way, even if it's menial and simple. Because it's very hard, in my opinion, to feel happy and proud of yourself if all you're doing is laying down in your bed and doing nothing. So to have this base level of feeling you're contributing or doing something good, uh, you have to do something with your life. For example, me, um, I decided that I'll become self-employed. That's what I do. I coach clients. I make those videos. This is my decision. What are you going to do? Do something with your life. It doesn't have to be a job per se, but you have to find something that, you know, is work, quote unquote. You have to have certain personal projects or something to strive towards in the physical environment, in the physical world that you do and that you exert this power on the ex external world as to make something happen, right? So emphasis here on the external world because you can think and daydream all, all you want in your mind, but unless it manifests in the external world, then the external sphere of dealing with the depression and all that, it's not gonna, not gonna do anything. You need to go out there in the external world and make something happen. So if you don't know what to do, just get a job. That's what I'd recommend. Another benefit of just getting a job is that you get in contact with other people. Therefore, it helps socially speaking. You're in contact with other human beings. And you know, when you're really depressed, usually you tend to close yourself off and not get out of your house. So just this contact with other people, you know, can help your depression. Number five thing you can do is to keep your house clean. When you keep your house clean, it helps your environment in a way that you see that, you know, not only are you being productive, so you have this feeling of accomplishment, but also how you see your environment is also a reflection of your mind in a sense. So if your environment is clean, then you're going to have cleaner thoughts. You're going to just be more sharp mentally. You're going to be in a better headspace. And if it's just, you know, messy everywhere. So that's, I don't know if it's been proven to be true, but I found firstly that for it to help. And this is also what Jordan Peterson says, clean your damn room. You know, before you do anything in the world, you feel depressed. Just the first thing you can do is clean your room. And it's such a simple statement. It feels so simple. Why, why would cleaning my room solve my depression? It's not going to do anything. Well, yes, it might, because it is a simple step. It's a simple step to take. And, you know, if, you know, getting a girlfriend is, you know, this, this goal you have that seems insurmountable, at least if you can clean your room, or at least if you can do these simple steps, like, you know, wake up early in the morning or whatever it is, those simple steps do add up. So don't neglect the simple steps. The sixth thing to deal with the environmental, material, social sphere of the world <laughs> is to find fun things to do, find hobbies and, you know, schedule it into your day. For example, be my cause of my depression was, you know, I felt burnt out. I felt like I had no time for myself and I felt like I wasn't having fun and it just became a chore. So I added certain activities, you know, whether it be socializing, you know, uh, video games to, to a healthy extent, right? You don't want to binge video games. Uh, just, you know, anything that feels fun to you, that feels good to you, have these hobbies. I started playing chess recently, even did the, some Rubik's Cube, uh, you know, any sort of hobbies like that, which are great supplements. And it, it just helps your life overall to have more sort of a well-rounded life. And when you partake in new hobbies, this engages your brain, you know, different neural pathways, because when you, let's say, for example, you take a different route to work, then that your, your brain is engaged in a different way. Like it's seeing a new environment, you know, for example, learning a, a new language has this similar effect on pathways. And I believe even new hobbies that has this sort of effect. And the seventh tip 
to deal with the environmental material sphere of depression is to have flow state activities. Now, what is flow? Flow is a concept coined by positive psychologist Mihail Csikszentmihalyi Mihail on his book Flow, that basically he says that happiness, one huge determinant of happiness is flow state activities. To be in a state of flow, what flow is, is basically being in the zone, quote unquote, where you're so immersed in an activity where the skill and the challenge, your abilities and your the challenge completely meets at the perfect meeting point where it's completely balanced and you're just completely immersed in that activity. So it could be, uh, it could be meditation. For me, for example, it's shooting videos. I'm, I get really in flow state, you know, when I'm shooting the right video about the topic that I enjoy. Uh, this is an example of flow state. You can get it through sports. You can get it even in a interaction with someone else. Sometimes, you know, during my you know, my days when I was socializing a lot, practicing my social skills, I would really get in that flow state where just when I spoke to someone, it just felt right. It just felt like everything clicked into place. What I was saying was making other people laugh and I was laughing, I was having a great time and just sharing that energy with other people. Sometimes that can be a source of flow. Now, you want to determine these flow state activities in your life. I recommend you read the book if you want to learn more about that. And that's definitely something you want to add more of in your life.